Hey, what's up? Just got this uh, Suron X. Overall, I actually like the power of the bike, even as it comes, even with the street legal mode. I did want to try it out with the wire cut where you actually get a little bit more power. And I did try it and I thought, you know, it was a pretty significant difference, but it significantly reduces your range. So I wanted to essentially uh, have the ability to kind of flip on and off between the high power mode and the low power mode. So maybe I want to go up a hill climb or Maybe I want to just, uh, you know, just have a little extra power, maybe move a little faster on a certain part of that, that trail. I didn't want to uh, keep having to like connect the wire manually and disconnect it and all that other stuff. So what I did is I came up with an idea to kind of create a, a turbo button and this turbo button that I call it at least, I want to completely factory it. If you can see it, it's right here and I'll actually just show you how it works. And then I'll show you how I did it too, but it looks pretty factory as you can see here because of the way the wire is connected. Um, that you disconnect the wire in order to make the, the high power mode work, the switch actually is kind of backwards. So the one or on section of the switch here is actually the off position or the low power mode. Then you flip it here for high power. I'll show you. I'll try to do this with uh, one hand while holding my phone here and recording, but turn the key on. Notice it's in sport mode. And I'm going to show you... High power mode, same thing. And we're gonna go back to low power mode. You can see the top speed here. And I'm gonna hit the switch. Now obviously you can see I had, to, <laughs> I had to press a switch while holding the phone at the same time, but you get the idea. You just hit this little switch and it just kind of bounces between the low power and the high power mode. And I will show you how I did it. Um, very, very simple. I will link the parts to the description below the video so that you can go on Amazon and get pretty much what you need. It doesn't really cost much, like a few bucks in parts here. Um, so essentially it's this little rocker switch. I drilled a hole. I believe I used a five eighths drill bit and then I used a rasp uh, drill bit to kind of enlarge the hole but I believe you can just use a half inch hole you'll have to check when you get the actual um, you know button in yourself but I believe it's a half inch hole saw uh, that you would use but as you can see here this is the wire and this wire comes here I got some Tessa tape that's installed here so that it looks like uh, looks like a factory installation it just goes right here very simple very simple process and I use these uh, um, solderless um, waterproof connectors and I'll also show you a picture here in a second um, and I'll link those as well to the description on Amazon but overall very simple modification so that you don't have to permanently enable high power mode or permanently leave it the way uh, it is when it comes out of the box but just kind of have the, the flexibility of being able to just switch the power modes and it looks super clean so there you go have fun